Emmert International proudly presents the Trucking Job of the Year entry for the Specialized Carriers and Rigging Association. In order to bring Super Bowl 38 to Houston, Texas, city officials negotiated with the National Football League to be selected as the host city for the sporting event. As a condition of award, the city of Houston agreed to expand the George R. Brown Convention Center located in downtown Houston by constructing an additional 700,000 square feet of exhibitor and convention space. Upon award, new construction commenced on the George R. Brown Convention Center to accommodate the NFL administration, media, and other conventions associated with the Super Bowl. The completion of a 1,200-room meeting facility and an additional 1,600-space parking garage project was slated to be completed by October of 2003. Out of the 11,000 tons of steel that would be shipped to Houston for the remodeling project, Emmert International would be required to transport all of the larger superstructure loads to the inner city job site. As a result, it was imperative to establish a route from the port to downtown Houston in order to facilitate the transportation and delivery of the larger superstructure components. After preliminary discussions, it was agreed that Emmert would be awarded a contract based on finding a viable route into the job site. One piece in particular proved to be most challenging. It measured 52 feet 6 inches wide and weighed 220,000 pounds. The Texas Department of Transportation and the City of Houston were doubtful that a route could be identified, particularly into the downtown areas of Houston that would accommodate the largest superstructure component. Nonetheless, operations managers at Emmert began to evaluate routing possibilities. After working closely with the government agencies and performing a survey, a route was identified which traveled northward from the Greensport Terminal to Interstate 10 and eventually into Houston. The route would require using a multitude of side streets, freeway crossings, median improvements, and road closures to maneuver the largest superstructure components to the job site. As the superstructure components arrived by heavy lift ship, Emmert International received the components directly from the ship's hook onto a 14-axle Goldhofer platform trailer coupled with a 4-axle Kenworth tractor. The components were transported from dockside to a staging area at the port. Staging stands were placed under the outer portions of the steel framework and the hydraulic platform trailer was used to lower the components onto the staging system. It was now possible to self-load the components onto the transport system upon notification from the customer that they were ready for a superstructure delivery to the job site. The permitting agencies reviewed the proposed route and after much deliberation, agreed to issue permits with several restrictions. All of the units required travel times between the hours of midnight and 10 a.m. on Sunday mornings. Since all lanes would be taken up on a majority of the roadway when transporting the large superstructure component, four Houston Police Department police escorts, in addition to several Emmert International escort vehicles, were required to assist with traffic control. Radio communications between Emmert employees were essential to accommodate many of the tight clearances along the route. In one area, the platform trailer was elevated to maximum height and then tilted in order to allow one end of the superstructure to be high enough to travel over a row of parked cars. The large component also required power, city, and telephone crews to accompany the load in order to move objects that were in the way. Signage, signal arms, trees, and guy wires were just a few of the obstructions that required removal during the transportation of the largest component. A five-mile stretch of roadway took two hours to complete while negotiating the piece through inner city streets. To maneuver the loads around many of the tight corners and some medians along the route, crane matting was required to be placed in order to accommodate the turning radius of the trailer configuration. The large superstructure load, as it traveled across the Ship Canal Bridge and under Highway 25, negotiated a 650-foot section of roadway that was 53 feet wide. As a result, there were only three inches of room to spare on each side of the load. As the superstructures were delivered to the construction site, the components were positioned directly under the crane's lifting hook. Personnel from Emmert delashed the superstructures and they were immediately lifted off the transport system by on-site cranes and hoisted into position. 
The tractor and Goldhofer trailer were then demobilized back to Greensport Terminal in order to set up for the next delivery. In total, Emirates utilized a combination of platform, stretch, and dolly trailers to transport over 14 million pounds of project cargo. With the help of the City of Houston traffic crews and the police escorts, Emirates was able to successfully transport one of the widest loads ever maneuvered through streets of downtown Houston. In addition, over 140 over-dimensional loads spanning a 47-week period were successfully transported from the Greensport Terminal to downtown Houston without incident. The well-executed delivery of the superstructure components enabled the general contractor to complete the construction project in a timely fashion. The new George R. Brown facility boasts over 1.8 million square feet of space and is now connected to a new 1,200-room meeting and convention hotel with a 1,600-space parking garage. The project brought domestic and international companies together to create an astounding new addition to the greater Houston area. Overall dimensions, largest component, length 110 feet, width 52 feet 6 inches, height 9 feet 2 inches. Project dimensions, variable lengths from 40 feet to 140 feet, variable widths from 8 feet to 52 feet 6 inches, variable height from 10 feet to 17 feet. Gross weight, largest component, 351,500 pounds. Total project weight, 14 million pounds. Planning the job, three month permitting process, 160 hours of engineering, 850 hours of planning and coordination. Permits and approvals, Texas Department of Transportation, State of Texas Bridge Department approval, Texas State District Transportation Office, Texas State Signal Divisions, Utility Company, City of Houston. Licensing, all tractors and trailers registered, licensed and titled for highway use. Physical elements encountered, 90 degree turns, railroad track crossings, traffic control devices, road width restrictions, removal of signage, road closures, inner city streets. Safety considerations, pilot cars, radio communications, police escorts, traffic control plans, engineered lashing plan. Execution, 1,150 man hours. Ingenuity and innovations blockouts to obtain additional height for outer portions of superstructure, independent steering, crabbing of trailer to straddle obstacles between superstructure legs, loss prevention, no accidents, no injuries, no property damage, no loss of time, no cargo damage, no incidents.